are I'm back with some more Icarus. In game time 13.50. So let's start out by emptying out the exotic harvester. Um, let's see whether or not Phoenix 2 has matured. Let's actually grab the saddle just in case. There's the saddle. Which reminds me, I also need to because I started the game again. Enable the. This one's still has three. Hello. Enable the uh, beehives. And activate. There's a structural integrity calculation. Let's see. Do I see a MOA without saddle? An adult one? no saddle, huh? It is stained by me. Oh wait, actually he has a saddle. Again, all the animals clumped up here. At least I can have a look from above and then I saw... If you go out of the way please, thank you very much. Here, Raginui, you're gonna be called Phoenix as well. Rise from the ashes, my friend. And let's put the speed modules in. Or the pheromone modules. New Phoenix. Alrighty, so, like I said, uh, let's go out and clear out the exotic services first. Interesting, why aren't you spinning? You are active, right? Now you are. Apparently it took you a while to realize that you were unblocked, okay. Well, let's have a look. Oh. Might not have an stamina bar again. Maybe because I started sprinting whilst being in the cave here? I don't know. Oh, there's a stamina bar. Okay. And yes, I have my map back. I like that. Yeah, last stream. <laughs> I had a black map, so I'm, I'm glad it came back. Especially when doing these simple missions, it makes it a tad easier to navigate towards the mission location. And you saw last stream where I uh, didn't know whether I had to go up or down to uh, find the uh, chest. If the map would have been working, uh, I would have seen biggest part of the search circle was on top of the plateau, so it would have been slightly faster. But hey, at least now I can see you again, so that's good. Also, we're at 2 hours 9. At 4.45, there should be a meteor event again. Time on prospect. So that is over 2 hours. Which gives us time to uh, empty out the extractors a couple of times. Hello?
why aren't you working? There's no music, but there is the vapes. There's also the active glow. Oh, there's the music. Interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up the extractor and put it back down. See if we can get it working again. In order to do so, I do need this one. Will it be enough just to reconnect? Nope. So I will have to like pick it up and put it back down again. Okay. Didn't need to kill ya. Will you start working again? No, you will not. Why not? There is still exotics in. Okay, nice shot. Even though I say so myself. There you go. You're working again, good. you back there put these there we can continue towards the next towards the far one About 1600 in game, so we'll have to run back in the dark, but that's fine. I do think the volcanic biome does look nice in the dark. All the nice red glowy and stuff. Yeah. Careful now. You might be called Phoenix, but you're not a Phoenix as such, so if you end up in the fire, phoenix, in the lava, you will burn to death. Oh, come on. Really? There you go. I know you can do it. So just do it. Okay, passing Hell's Highway. Definitely useful to traverse here on a mount. A fast mount. to try and remember the angle here. See there is a certain angle where you can uh, run straight up that ramp. Towards this Korea thingy here. Take a left. First bridge. And over 
the second bridge. Should have enough room to empty it out fully. Good. So now we can run back. There and back again. Bilbo begins. Not bad, not bad. I do love the mines. And I do wonder what kind of new setup we will be getting. What the... I hope these setups will give us some kind of uh, buff. I want more speed, even more speed from my uh, <laughs> from my MOA. Also, I wonder since the mission tree currently in uh, Prometheus is basically a finished mission tree, those new missions for the uh, Ashlands. I believe they're calling the new part, the southern part of the map. I wonder how they will fit into the mission tree. I'm definitely gonna do them uh, in this open world here. Sooner rather than later. So yeah, the whole, um, like we dis discussed with patch notes, the uh, uh, no map thingies, which was uh, mentioned uh, a couple of weeks ago in the patch notes, like this, uh, to the extent that like there is no map coverage or something for this new part. Actually, uh, I have to say it's a nice way to uh, like explain why you initially don't have that part of the map available, and also current players why it it hasn't been available. Like yeah, but it needed to be unlocked or mapped or cartographed, or whatever you want to call it. That has to be done first before you can actually. Uh, Use that map. I wonder how is that going to work. Uh, is it like a one time. Uh, but once you have explored it. You will have map coverage. Or will it be. Uh, consistent no map coverage. Both are interesting. Uh, I have to say. Like it would make. Exploring a tad harder. If you have no map coverage. Plus I wonder how long it will take before maps show up on internet. I yeah, like uh, compound maps. From people who like uh, did some exploring around there. And I don't know maybe uncovered a bit. Or someone who covered the entire area with uh, beacons or... Because they were saying something like this new mission and then you have to like link beacons together uh, stuff like that. It's going to be interesting. Like I said, I'm planning on doing it sooner rather than later. Because I think it's going to be an interesting uh, area to go to. Also, them, 
chickens and eggs and the wool. Well, are we gonna be able to like uh, get wool from woolly zebras, or are we gonna get new animals for wool? Uh, we already have the woolly zebras, so one could say use those for wool. Plus, what are we gonna be able to make from wool? Maybe some more rugs, but I hope and I reckon actually expect more than just rugs. So yeah, some interesting things to look forward to, that's for sure. Anyway, let's see uh, how much exotics did we bring this time. Not bad. Not bad at all. Also, <laughs> apparently, uh, I hadn't cleaned all the exotics from last episode yet. I have freaking four of those things running, man. Still, it ain't enough, eh? Okay. And don't tell me I don't have enough power in my base. Hopefully, Friday's update is gonna bring us the uh, batteries and network update. So at least I can see uh, how much power I'm producing uh, instead of having to calculate it and how much power I'm actually uh, using. But yeah, power and war. It's looking good, I'd say. Oh, still. Oh well. Let's see, what do we have simple missions wise today? Simple quests. Locate an abandoned base and search it for the UDA. Sure, why not? Part is there. Collect a portable beacon. Okay, let's go grab it then. Should have brought a mount. Uh, I don't know. Actually, since I am not on my mount no more. Well, let's go for this module uh, loadout. And don't forget to eat. Consume, consume and consume. And we continue again. Up top, I think. Or is it? Uh. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. <laughs> the when you uh, tame a mount, it's automatically set to follow, and I had not put this one to unfollow, so I kind of forgot. Grab the beacon. base and then up which means I can put this one back in the pen and set it to not follow actually let's see good time to test this out yeah. 
So you can change the modules when you're on the mount and it will still have effects. Good. That's just what I wanted to know. I mean, good time to test it. You no longer follow. I can bring you back to the pen. You stay there, please. Thank you very much. And I can swap these around again. Alrighty. Maybe I should put a second speed module in as well. So two speed and two carry models. Okay, so there's the base. I have to repair it. And um, is it tier four? Is it tier three? I have to repair it and. Uh, Put the beacon in and make sure everything that's common to attack me, I'm gonna kill. It's that easy. Question is, what do we do first? Repair. Good. Optional self is what's in the base. There's no more drug. Fuck it off. Nice oh, shallow, okay. So a bit of repairing to do. Oh. Well, accidentally killed that one. Wasn't even planning on doing so. <laughs> I have to place the beacon, obviously. some base parts have to repair the roof still four parts Optional salvage. Oh, cool. Hunter armor set.
And this one. Good night, you. And then place the beacon. Done. I have to can I pick up the stuff there. Right. That's gonna teach him a lesson. <sighs> Nothing special, so let's just get this. Just repair the rest of the base. I mean, it's only thatch, but it's gonna be gone after the first storm. But hey, as for that uh, red wing, it's just annoying, not dangerous, so don't care. When it gets too annoying, I'll just uh, shoot it. Yeah, I just want to have this entire base fully repaired now. Right. Since we're here anyway. I'm gonna grab this. Vestige. The rest I'm just gonna uh, skin. Just for the uh, bestiary progress. Okay, you're no longer gonna bother me. The moment you attack me, you're dead. Just so you know. Oh, and I definitely have to make more. Uh, explosive shotgun shells. Wow. There you go. Drag level 3 unlocked in bestiary, always nice. You do realize I'm the one who killed all this, right? So again, you attack me, you're dead. Just saying. Told ya. You too. Again, let's get him for the best cherry process. Yeah, I know you didn't attack me yet, but just in case. Preventive kill. Just prevent if those uh, juvenile moles I'll just uh, let live for now.
So I'm coming just to level 3, but it's a Prometheus storm, so. Okay, I think I skinned it all. Yes, okay, good. And home. I do have the salt water uh, fillets, so. salt water fish fillets. So best go drop those off in the freezer. We need the ice, vestiges. Platinum hammer. Hmm. Can see. In. I'll fill him up and put it in the. Well, no, I'm not. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Hundred feet. So what am I missing? A hundred chest and a hundred leg. Way for arm and leg, so helm, chest, and feet. I have leather feet, armor. <coughs> this is all collected from uh, simple quests. Um, what is in this one? Now, uh, well, I'll just plonk you in here in the bottom, so you're out of sight. Right, empty jar can go back here. Uh, explosive. Shotgun shells. Gonna have 50. Let's see what recipes does this character have for gunpowder. Can't be made there, huh? Can only be made here with sulfur and charcoal. I don't have that much charcoal though. Yes, I have a ton of sulfur, but I don't really want to spend sulfur on uh, gunpowder. Since storm's going on. Because we'll hang out in base a little bit. Let's see, copper. Let's just make a bunch more copper wire. Yeah, the shotgun slug. I don't really like too much. I rather have the <laughs> spread out ammo, you know. Fifty-seven, fifty-seven flint arrows. I might wanna get some more here. Next time I'll get more arrows. No worries. Right, for a long storm, still going. And let's clear out some uh, stabilized exotics from here. Put 
put it away. Upstairs in the vault. Boom, there you go. 140. Exactly. Right. And still more to come. Crushed. I'm doing for the clay. Doesn't look, I don't have a whole lot of clay. Do I have Noxious Crushed Clay? Yeah, bomb. Luckily, you don't need a whole lot of clay. Obsidian of uh, Scoria, sorry, and a ton of obsidian. Yeah. Okay, shaped obsidian don't have a whole lot, but it's fine nonetheless. I will uh, make some more. In order to do so, we just Grab this and chuck it in here and activate that one. And goes to copper ingots, <coughs> uh, gold or oh, I have more obsidian stuff there, huh? is gonna be smelted into scoria bricks, that's fine. These I can throw in here. I for room here, full, okay. Shall I? Ah, storm is over, so I can do another simple quest. What do we have? Hidden cash. Let's see where hidden cash is gonna be. All the way over there, huh? That means this time I'm gonna take the amount. Because this is way faster than running there myself, and the cache is in a rather safe one. All I need to do is go to the smoke there and grab the contents of the chest. Although, looks this time. Oh, wait. <laughs> Here's the chest itself. <laughs> That's nothing, just some cooked meat. Pfft. This is supposed to be a hard one, right? There's very little reward for, uh, for a hard mission. Even when it's mission type is as simple as a uh, hidden cache. Usually, 
with a hard one you do get some more rewards alas not this time it's okay though don't really need it uh, need it anyway so I just checked in the biofuel composter. Huh? Yeah, I don't really need uh, those stakes. And there it goes. Consume, consume, consume. Put it the jar away. And then we can do another simple quest. One more. Then I'm gonna do another uh, volcanic run. Collect medium. Beyond the maze, I reckon, huh? Yeah, this is not one I, I do on uh, on mount. Those quests I prefer to do on foot. Because usually you have to do a bit of fighting. <coughs> I mean, could have brought a horse. Horse is perfectly capable of uh, killing a drug. Except not when they gang up on him, I think. But then again, if they do gang up on him, you can always run away. But yeah, no. I prefer to do those on foot. Yes, I don't know. Decent distance away. Double? Double. Need to get four, so there are five. This way. There's four, so there's one more. I do recall back in the day there wasn't any sound. Plus, if you did them in the forest, there was way more undergrowth. Oh, I'm a fool. I am. Uh, so yeah, it was harder to find those IDs, way harder. And then they added sound, but I have had it where sound was way softer than this one. Please note, you can properly hear where the sound comes from. 
that's good as well. Uh, wait for our chest or a ghillie head. I don't, I can't make the ghillie armor. So I'm actually, even though this one does have platinum ingots, I'm gonna go for this one. Purely because of the uh, ghillie. Um, find my bearings this way. Oh yay, I leveled up. Right, and another one. Skins for the bestiary progress. Um, I could as well go this way, by the way. I do hear another truck somewhere in front of me. So let's go kill it. Stunning experience, isn't it? Literally. You saw that? He said yes. He got tased. Oh, was it there like a cave here? Yeah. Let's have a quick look in the cave, shall we? Because of that. No bees. So, there's another exotic node. Let's have a quick look on top of the mesa here. Let's see whether or not I can fall off. Apparently. Well, what I wanted to check is whether or not there is a strange plant again there. I don't think so. Oh, indeed. Uh, that way. Then let's also have a quick look in the cave with the silicon DVE. And just to check whether or not there is a exotics node there. I'll do the uh, volcanic run in the morning. It's already 15.30 in game, so... me. Morning should be good. Hello, crocodile. Haven't seen one of you in a while. Well, so it also means I don't think I have a whole lot of uh, crocodile vestiges. So let's get one. There you go.
no bees, I don't think. I need my good knife. Don't hear no bees, so. Really? You didn't die from that? Okay, well, no, you did, no. I'm shooting the flint arrows, right? I'm now. Yes, I was, I think. No, I was not. I was shooting the stone arrows. Okay, that could explain why it didn't kill the worm with one shot. Where is there? Oh, down. I wanted my arrow back. Same goes for this one. I want my arrow back. Come on. There you go. Eating my arrows. How rude. No. No purple node here. Okay. Well, let's then head back to base. Oops, ran into the rock. Face first. Oh well, it happens. Apparently. Fast way to get into the base, eh? If I don't miss the, <laughs> the jump that is. Hey, for our weather. This can go in there. Let's quickly consume one of these. Crocodile first, this can go in there. It cannot. I don't have any crocodile vestiges in here, so I'm just gonna get rid of a stack of those. There you go. Meat can go there. Gilly armor piece can go here. Full. Um, I can make two more spots there. Let's and weave can go there. Those two I can put in here. Spare module, prospect identification thingy. Uh, leather. And grab this one back. Bees go in here. Since I'm here already, I could as well put the purple exotics away. There you go. Now get rid of the honeycombs. Bring the red exotics upstairs. There's 400 reds, and once the cleaning of the uh, noxious crust is done, I have 96 purple, so that's enough to uh, easily, <laughs> easily enough to call down a part to bring this to send this up at the end of the episode of the stream. 
So that's what we're gonna do. If I don't forget at least. Um Six twenty eight to go. We're getting there. We are getting there. In the meantime, wash hands. Because I can go to the Arctic in uh, bad weather, so it doesn't really matter. Let's make some animal food though. Because I believe I ran out. back put the seeds back meantime it's about sleepy time so yeah it's midnight here so yeah like I said one more trip to the volcanic then I'm gonna call it tired of a short stream again today I know sorry about that but hey Echo should have vacation uh, later on this week so Thursday we finally should have a co-op stream again co-op gameplay and uh, Mars Emperor. So yeah, at least there's something to look forward to. This is a uh, tier 5 storm. We just had a tier 3 one, this is a tier 5. And yeah, this poor base over here getting destroyed. Don't care already uh, finished the simple quest so see no more storm here so that's good There's a pig being attacked by something or the other, I think. At least it sounded like a pig taking damage. So. Righty ho. through the morning the fresher smell uh, the fresher smell the smell of fresh brimstone in the morning huh? it makes you feel alive and in the volcanic biome on Prometheus Two rabbits close to one another. Anyway, let's see how much is in this one. You fool. Okay. <coughs> So, continuing towards the far one, double one, but yeah, this is closer and this is the double, yeah, the far one space is, should be having like the double one. Up 
towards the second Co a coven. <coughs> Generate some stamina quickly. So now we are running through Hell's Highway. Well, let's get out of the heat. the scoria uh, thingy here first bridge looking good second bridge looking good up there Second life of Rootling, huh? Okay, by all means, I'll take it. And uh, put in a carry module. So we have room for these exotics. Getting 100 now. Um, 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 this way. So then we, on the way back, we clear out Lima 1 once more. And then we run back to base, check the stuff in the cleaners. 125 each. Sulfur and uh, silicon. Okay, that's just what I wanted to know. Food was run out, but that should be fine. again so let's print there are the guardians that's fine though Still wondering what the white triangle thingy is. Really? There you go. Uh, not sure whether or not I checked that cave to the right between the two caverns after the last meteor event. I will quickly check it out though. I do know for a fact I did not check the ones in the tunnel between the grasslands and the volcanic. Maybe I'll do, maybe I won't, I don't know yet. Uh, 
And we're gonna go the easy way. Just wanted to make sure. And continuing. I mean, I could check this one here. There it is. Question is where's the beehive at? There. Okay, that was just in time. I'm trying to remember, I believe if there was one, then it's like up here. I don't see no nothing, so... If it would have been one, I would have done it with a knife, but... Didn't wanna run any risk. Run risk? Didn't wanna take any risk, so... side, i.e. here, don't need this one no more, kind of sounded like uh, another beehive processing, but I'm not going to check it out, me, see you still have four slots, three, so, I mean, I could check out the cave over there. It's right. At least I checked, huh? Can't say I didn't check. I mean, you can say, but it won't be true. 119, huh? Let me g grab one more. If I can select this one here. Yeah. Then I have 120, which is easier, dividable by 4. Just saying. And grab it. A little bit of rubber banding there, but nothing serious. does run smoother when running on the DS or at least legendary <laughs> 4.0 
for smooth is a relative term. Righty ho. Still do have a couple of slots left. So yeah, I might actually check the case in this year tunnel quickly. At least I don't have to worry about my mount because there's almost never an animal in this year tunnel. Almost. Although it's known to happen. Uh, I have killed a uh, lava broodling walking around down there. Threatening to go up the ramp. Um, I go here first. Here, bees. There. No problem here, though. I'm just gonna quickly grab the stuff from the beehive here. Actually, let me drink some water. That's one. Nothing as in <laughs> no problem. This is basically what I'm looking for right here now, right now. Goes there. It goes there. And I came from here. I always forget which side I came from when <laughs> being here. I'm gonna check up here now. Okay, I think I checked correct. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I couldn't take him out with one shell. Eh, tough luck. Only one remaining, easy to do with a knife, but no problem. Okay. That means I can go back to my mount. Missed that jump. Can I even make it from here? Yep, I can. Okay, good. That's just what I wanted to know. Phoenix, I'm back. So yeah, if you're in a cave, as soon as you jump on your mount, the cave darkness is gone for a bit. A bit cheesy, but... Good way to find your way around if you don't have a torch, but you do have a mount with you. So, 120 raw exotics. Divided by 4 means 30 per. And then I'll 
request support and I'll bring uh, I'll send up the uh, cleaned exotics. There and another thirty here, and then the remaining thirty can go here. Right, bees can go in here. Um, let's go full carry. Put away the what I got here. Honeycombs. Now let's grab ourselves a bunch of... Oh, let's actually eat something as well. Consume, consume, consume. Grab ourselves a bunch of exotics. Those and those. About 500. Good. to the fence again human shield Damage wise, nope. This one as well. Let's repair you. Well, maybe my human shield did help. Come on. Okay, do wanna stay on one piece? How you doing for the old spikies? Well you should be fine. If not, not my problem at this point. So like I said I'm gonna call it right now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. I know I enjoyed playing, you know me. Give me a reason to play Icarus and I will play it. Give me no reason I'll still play Icarus. Uh so yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you folks around.